Hello, welcome to My View News. This is Blessed Lore from the Blessed Lore channel. I'm going to try to do things a little different from here on out and see how it works. Instead of condensing a bunch of news articles into one segment, I'm going to start doing uh, individual segments on the actual on individual topics to try to cut down on the bulk of the time of, of uh, the videos. It seems like maybe uh, the videos are being too long. And I don't want that to deter people from not watching all of the content so you get what they need out of it. Um, also, it's been a while since I posted some videos. It's been hectic for me. I'm trying to get things in order for my small business, as you can see behind me from the last videos. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things have gotten reorganized. And I'm starting to get everything in order for the production line for, for my AKs, and I'm going to start doing soon. Um, and with that... Let's get started with the first topic I want to talk about, and this comes from Yahoo News, and it's titled, Pope Unleashes Super Confessors to Tackle Special Sins. Um, you know, first of all, let me just say this, that just straight disgusts me. You know, anything to do with the Pope usually disgusts me to begin with, because I really believe that he's, he's a false prophet. If not the false prophet talked about in league with the Antichrist, He's definitely got a false, a false prophet, uh, atmosphere, antichrist type spirit to himself. We're talking about the same man that uh, is condoning like the one world religion to try to combine all religions together and basically saying that, you know, by doing that, you're saying that there's more ways to happen than just through Jesus Christ. And I just can't, that boggles my mind when you're supposed to be the head of the Catholic Church who's supposed to be in love with the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ. You know, but um, like we've said before, see people for their fruits, whether it's good or bad, and see them through their works, you know, and that's what we're going to see. Um, this is also the same Pope that a few years back told people if they followed him on Twitter that they would get their time in purgatory cut in half. I mean, give me a break. Like, he has the authority to do anything of that kind of a nature, you know. And as time progresses, you'll see a lot of these phonies for who they are i.e. like the Joel Osteen types, those phonies, you know, the Benny Hen type phonies, the Oprah phonies, and, and et cetera, you know, and they're just shills. And, you know, since a lot of the world is lost, they're going to flock to this stuff because they're all about the, the prosperity, lies, the um, everything's all good all the time, don't worry about this, just do this, you know, basically almost in line with Aleister Crowley, do what thou will type of attitude, you know. And it's satanic in nature, you know. And, um, for example, if you look at pictures of the Pope with his clergy behind him, he usually has three people in black robes behind him. And they've got the red sash going on. And um, if you look at the way that the staff is positioned, it's in the shape of the Vav letter, which is of the Hebrew alphabet, and it's also the number six. So he's always rolling around with uh, the triple six next to him, you know. So that's a given there. Also, you can look from an aerial image of the St. Peter Ballistica um, and where that obelisk is and notice the the order of the, what the ground is shaped in uh, for the walkway and all that. It makes a solar, like lunar solstice thing where during different times of the months and years that the shadow of the obelisk will actually show the different high holidays for the pagan holidays like the summer solstice, the winter solstice, etc. It's all there. All you got to do is open your eyes and see it for what it is. Same thing with those fish looking hats that they wear. That's actually a base off of the uh, Mithra cult, you know, the fish cult, etc. You know, but what I wanted to get into is, you know, this is more bogusness, you know, because I'm going to tell you right now, the only one that cleanses sins is Jesus Christ, you know, um, the, you know, no man can help us get right with the Lord. You know, man can help plant seeds to lead you to the narrow path, but man cannot absolve your sins. That is only through the blood of Jesus Christ, through repentance and acceptance of Jesus Christ into your heart, getting into a personal relationship with Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And sorry for that noise. I've got my door open out there to let it air out in here. It's just got a real metal-y kind of smell in here. So that's the wind kicking up here, knocking that door back and forth. Sorry about that. But hey, you know, it is what it is. This is all low-scale production. I'm not fancy. I don't have blue screens behind me 
Um, I don't have monetization of my YouTube, and nor do I ever plan to do such. You know, and and also, I'm I'm doing all these videos off of my weak webcam on my laptop. You know, so that's why the quality is what it is. Later in time, after I get my own house in order and my own things in line, maybe I'll get better equipment to do better high quality videos. But you know, it's not necessarily about the quality of how something looks. It's about the quality of the intelligence and the knowledge that you're receiving from the videos that really should matter, you know. But like I said, you know, just look into that. I, it's it's sickening, you know, like what? So these men that are super confessors can help tackle special sins. How are they going to do that when most of them are pedophiles and sinning themselves? You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, it's only Jesus Christ that absolves and washes sin clean. And we can't get into heaven without going through the Son to recognize the Father. I'm just saying, you know. And uh, it's just disgusting, you know, with everything going around in the world. It's just so many people are going to fall away, you know. 90% of the Christian base is probably going to be part of the great falling away just because a lot of them go to church to just look good in front of others with their suits and their dresses. They pay tithes just so they can take notice of that, not because they truly mean it in their heart. And, you know, there's so much bickering and division in most churches nowadays that it's just sad. It's just sad. That's why I'm always promoting an individual relationship with Christ. You know, getting into our refinement with the Lord. You know, that's what it's all about. I'm not saying church is a bad thing or a good thing, okay? It can be both, you know? But you have to have wisdom and discernment in those types of places at times so you can reap good works and you can reap the bad works and tell the difference between the two. It's all about judging the fruits, good or bad, ripe or rotten, wheat or chaff, you know? And I'll just, that's about all I wanted to get into that, you know? Look for yourself and think in your own hearts. And you'll know deep inside yourself if you really do some soul searching that no man on this planet can save you of your sins, you know. And, and like I said before, it's only Jesus Christ that does that, you know. And if you haven't got Jesus Christ in your heart, I would recommend that you that you fall on your knees or do what you got to do and get in the prayer, you know. And and I'll do a little prayer real quick for those that want to uh, come to Jesus Christ, you know. Lord God, I pray to you right now in your son, Yeshua HaMashiach's name, Jesus Christ. We come before you. We know that we are sinners, Lord God. We have fallen short many times and still do. Even the saved, you know, backslide and just have shortcomings. You know, it's just we're a, we're a sinful nature, Lord God. And we just pray. I believe in Jesus Christ. I know he died on the cross for me in humanity's sins, Lord God. I believe that he that he rose again on the third day, and he sits at your right hand in the throne room of God. And I know that he's coming back to take his bride at a later date and time, Lord God. And we just ask that you would allow Jesus Christ to become part of us in our heart and our mind and our soul. Amen. And just please, we repent of our sins, Lord God. And we pray that our names be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Just take us into your fall, Lord God. As it gets worse, we're going to need to be lights to this world, Lord God. And we just pray that you would have your Son and your Holy Spirit and your guidance in us and protect us with angels, Lord God. Protect our families, ourselves, our households to the version of Psalms 91 where it says nothing can come against us, pestilence will leave from us, and etc. Lord God, may a thousand fall to our left and right, and may we be unscathed. Amen. And just take us, Lord God and guide us, whether it's for our preps or to an appointed place or whatever it may be for everyone's different walk of life, Lord God. We are all different parts of the body for the same body in Christ. Amen. No color, no race, no sex, no divisions. We are all children of God, made in your image. Amen. And I pray that many people will take this to heart and start to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we love you so much, God. And we pray for your blessings. 24 7 in our life and we give you all the grace all the glory all the praise and all the honor in jesus christ yeshua hamashiach's name we pray amen hallelujah guys if you did that prayer with me congratulations you're on your step to getting to heaven you've got your name written in the book of life and that's one of the most important things you can do you know many of you i might not see until after 
Well, I promise you this, we might not never meet in this world, but we'll, we will damn sure meet in the wedding of the Lamb. Amen. And be strong, saints. Be strong. Days are coming that's going to be really rough. You know, and as it gets worse, we are to have good cheer. Amen. Okay. It's the people that are lukewarm and lost that will have their hearts filled. And remember this. It's important. For sheer lack of knowledge, many shall perish. Don't let yourself be accounted amongst that mix. Amen. This is our time to rise up individually, not as a nation, not as a country, not as a world. Okay. The world is lost and dying. Look around yourself. You see it everywhere in the news. Okay. A lot of people think there's going to be a revival coming to this country. I don't see that. I just see slow, steady destruction of this country. The only revival that's going to happen will be in the underground churches and the remnant in the wilderness. Amen. And I just want to bless all of you guys and all your families and everything that everyone's doing. You know, and I thank you all for watching this channel, watching these videos, supporting me. And even if you don't support me and you hate my guts, thank you for taking the time to watch this channel. Because you never know when a seed gets planted. Amen. And God bless you all. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.